Life can be worth living if those who are privileged show a little make of human kindness by extending the hand of love to the less privileged in our society. It is no longer new that poverty remains one of the biggest Malay in Sub-Saharan Africa. Nigeria is out a woman, Mrs. Messi Amaso, founder of Mexican Love Foundation, a shining light to widows, orphans, young ladies and the elderly as well. Such that she is now regarded as the modern day Mother Teresa, the Queen of Hearts. They have been supported by the coordinator Tom Onoja and their working team. They have succeeded in standing in the gap by creating societal harmony through giving. A mantra basically has got to do with the empowerment of widows with food items and financial resources so as to start up their own businesses. They often, through Mexican Law Foundation, have also been engaged in skill acquisition. The issue of ex-convicts is something that radiates joy as well, as many ex-convicts were given motorcycles, including youth who have also benefited from the Foundation's Empowerment Program. Today, there are many people who are living testimonies of the transformative power of love to the leadership of the founder and CEO, Mrs. Messi Amaso. One aspect of the foundation's corporate social responsibility is the renovation of a school that was abandoned by successive governments. Mrs. Mercy Amaso, through her foundation, took it upon herself by giving it a facelift and created a conducive atmosphere for children to study. Not done yet, she also distributed books to indigent children and scholarships as well. One thing that is indelible and worthy of notice is how Mrs. Messi Amaso gave her money to assist people during the COVID-19 lockdown via social media. People she never knew from Adam benefited left, right and centre during COVID-19 pandemonium, even the widows as well. The mother, she knows the pains and anguish the motherless children go through as she impacted so much in them through giving of essential commodities and upkeep, not forgetting her financial support as well. She also passionately supported so many girl child with skill acquisition, giving them something to live on, build on and depend on as they move forward with their lives. The soul is the light of every human being. Through her foundation, Mrs. Messi and myself bought eyeglasses for widows with eye problems and also supplied to the elderly homes as well. They say God has no hiding place. She has received several awards from many organizations from far and wide, especially Pan Africa. She has also had so many engagements with notable media houses, which is an epitome of her positive impact in the society. To the founder of Mercy Love Care Foundation, foundation is a product of passion and love for humanity. The primary target she saw is widows and orphans. One thing she talks about all the time is the satisfaction in seeing people around her happy. My name is Mrs. Mercy Amaso. I'm the CEO of Mercy Divine Properties. I'm a real estate strategist. I'm also the founder of Mercy Foundation. Mercy Foundation came out of a passion 21 years ago. Uh, naturally, I'm somebody I hate to see people suffering. I hate to see people being depressed. And if there's anything I can do to alleviate the sufferings of people around me, I wouldn't hesitate to do it within my capacity. So it all started like a joke. And today, it has turned to something else with the help of God upon our lives. Our targets are widows and offers. We have some widows that we give small, small money, you know, for businesses to empower them. And also we have some orphans under our scholarship and some also some young ladies in skill acquisition. 
our activities, we visit the motherless homes, the elderly homes, and whatever we this have. This is exactly all, all the rice you saw. This is so our satisfaction. Is each and every day. Day. It's going home with one one each. That is what life is all about. Actually, we got this inspiration from the scriptures, especially the life of Rahab. The post to touch me so much. Okay. I am my one good away and became the great grandmother of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 So I was touched by this woman and uh, sometimes you may be asking, what is my motivation? I always tell people that happiness is very, very paramount in someone's life. Uh, I'm so excited, I'm so glad. It gives me joy when people around me are happy and that's what I do. Everybody around me, cast many connected, related and associated with me, they are aware that when people are happy, it gives me joy. So. Uh, you may be asking, how am I getting this money to help people? I use my personal money. The little money that God has given to me, I use it to reach out to them. I really, I'm happy about it. You must not have the word before you reach out to people. The little that God has given to you, just use it judiciously because I know that very soon the curtain will be drawn and uh, by the time the reality of life will hit you, you feel like you know coming back to the world to to rewrite your story, but it will be too late. Also, the school I finished from, you know, the primary school, rain was falling on the children, looking highly cachetic and dilapidated. I took it upon myself. A lot of people were like, ha, ha, I should have waited for government to come and do it. I said, but why should I wait? If I have the money to do it, why won't I renovate the school? Must I wait for government to do everything? Some of the beneficiaries were on ground during her birthday some time ago as they offered prayers to God for her. Yeah, to mercy, long live mercy, long live mercy, be free. Mercy, you are too much. Today is the day of mercy. We wish you a happy birthday. As we are celebrating this uh, birthday, uh, Matthew is celebrating with the widows. That is how God will celebrate with her in heaven. We wish you a happy birthday today, all the widows. We wish you long life and prosperity. Amen. Every day you have. God will continue to bless you. Amen. And sing your happy birthday. Happy birthday to you.